Hey, what's happening everyone? This is Yummy Mash, and welcome back to another Pokemon video. This is Pokemon Uncensored Edition, and I haven't uploaded a video on this game in quite some time. I've been focusing on the um, Snakewood version of this game for quite a while now, and I stopped doing Uncensored Edition since the last video I lost to May pretty badly. She was really strong. Um, so I quit for a bit, but we are back, and what we're going to do is we're going to just have a look around. I know there's a few things that I haven't done that I should do in this video, and one of those things is I should go back and challenge Brock for a second time, because um, since I found enough of the golden dildos, uh, his team is now stronger, and uh, he wants to have a rematch with me. So uh, this hiker guy here wants to fight me. So I'm going to kick his butt against his small but sturdy and strong team. And I don't think he realises what he's in for. That's actually pretty high level, that, to be honest. That level level 30? Didn't expect that, to be honest with you. Uh, none of these moves are really going to do much. Uh, unfortunately, the rest of my team's quite low level. Charizard seems to be the only high level Pokemon I have on my team right now. And that's not good when this Golem does incredible amounts of damage. Um, since I am flying fire. So let me just check the rest of the members right now. As you can see, they're very low level. I, I really do need to train them. The only problem with this Uncensored Edition right now is there is no speed up feature. So for me to train the rest of my team, it would take a very long time of grinding. So I don't really have the time to do any grinding off screen right now. So we're going to focus on just crossing our fingers that my team is quite strong enough to um, make it through the game right now. Hmm, let's have a look at my uh, my items. I don't think I even have any... Okay, yeah, I do. I have super potions. I have full heals. I have revives. I have a, I have a bunch of stuff. But, unfortunately, this bunch of stuff is not going to save me unless we hit a crit. Was that a crit? No? Wow! Hey, I did not expect that. That was very lucky. Steelix, steal! I'm very lucky. Very lucky right now that we're actually going to beat this guy. Flame Burst. Wow. Hey, if he just sent out another rock Pokemon, this would... Huh? What? What? Sturdy? Sturdy? STURDY! Look, I have uh, revives, guys, and I also have um, some super potions, though... He won't be using his sturdy again anytime soon, no siree, there's no way he's hanging on after this! Oh, really? Alright, I'll just use I'll just use a quick attack. Good job, Pidgeotto! Hey, my Pidgeotto might grow a level now! We might have somebody, you know, climbing the ranks of levels. Things are gonna look start looking pretty good for me, maybe. There we go, Pidgeot Pidgeotto hit level 20, that's pretty good. And uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to be challenging any more uh, hiker guys. <laughs> Power levels are over 9,000. And I got a bunch of cash, so that's pretty good. Uh, will I be able to use this bed to sleep and rest in? I don't think so, okay. So, let's just talk to this young lady here. Ooh, okay, and even give you tasks, sweet. Uh, I need to go and heal quickly. So I'm going to want to run to a Pokemon Center or even find a room with a bed in. And look at that, guys, it's night time. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like how this game uses the uh, feature of using time to change the scenery. I think that's really cool. And, um, yeah, we're going to heal up. So, yeah, unfortunately, the, we, we're pretty much a one-trick pony right now with Charizard. Uh, I only trained him throughout the game, and that's a bit of a mistake on my part. I should have uh, mixed out the experience between members. So we've only got, like, one guy super, super strong, and the rest of my team are a little bit on the uh, they're-going-to-die-very-quickly side, so that's kind of bad. Uh, but what we're doing now is we're trying to get some type of levels on Charizard again, just so we can maybe even beat Mei. Uh, my other team members are a bit too weak to even do anything. Um, so, yeah, we can't really use those guys. Hey, good, I bet you came in to witness the power of my Steel-type Pokemon. Oh, yeah, sure, yeah, I'll fight you. I'll, I'll fight you for sure. I'll send out Charizard against you. This is going to go really good if you're just going to send out Steel Pokemon. Yeah, you can send out Magnemites, Magnetons, Steelixes. You can send out 
any steel Pokemon, and I am going to be a happy, happy Yami Mash. So you, you do that. Hey, you know, you know what? I hope Brock just has decided to go full steel and not rock. You know, I hope he's like gone against his roots and has decided, you know what? Screw it. Steel's cooler than rock anyway. Yeah, <laughs> that'll be the end of him. I hate how they all have sturdy, or at least the strong ones do. That's kind of frustrating. And, oh, Spark's going to be a bit of a, uh, a nightmare, especially if it paralyzes me. Nope, okay. It's expecting to get paralyzed then. So we're just going to uh, stick it out, and uh, we're going to take down his team quite easily here. Might even hit level 41 on my Charizard. Uh, I still think it's quite possible to face the game developer on this, so I could try that. Uh, I'm very sure he's in my bedroom right now. I don't know what he's. I don't know what he's going to be doing in my bedroom, though. To be honest with you guys, so uh, yeah, I don't particularly want to know um, if he's doing anything in there. But we could go fight him, and if his team is as strong as it was previously in this series, uh, around about I think part six or so, we should quite easily win. So we we, we will try that at some point. And oh, Matang. You know, this would have been quite tricky if that was a Metagross, but a Matang shouldn't be a problem at all. So let's take that down. And there we go, we, uh, we took out all his Pokemon very easily. We're going to gain a level right here. And uh, yeah, we're looking quite strong. Um, I'm trying to learn Slash. Oh, that's a very good move to learn. Unfortunately, I still have Cut. Um, I still have Cut, and I don't particularly like that move. But we need it to take down the trees. Uh, honestly, Fire Fang is not quite as good as Flame Burst. Uh, we might even consider getting rid of that simply because Charizard is pretty high in the special attack department and that's why the Flame Burst did a lot more damage to the Golem previously than the Flame Fangs did. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, take this. I hope it'll help you on your journey. Iron. Oh, that's that's a really good item. I can use it to uh, make my clothes nice and uh, non-wrinkly. Thank you, dude. That's uh, pretty useful. Uh, I, don't, I don't even particularly want to face May just yet, because I think she'll, you know, she'll still kick my butt with her super high level water Pokemon. So what we're going to do then, is we're going to fly back to my previous town. And uh, we're going to face the game developer. And uh, it's back in Mallet Town, so we're just in Felonia City right now. As you can see, this is the game so far, and how far the game progresses. Um, all these places that I've been to. So we're just going to fly over to Mallet Town right now. As you can see, Uncensored Edition is still a work in progress. And the uh, developer still has quite some stuff to do to this. And it's going to be fun when the full game is released. Right now though, guys, if you, if, you if you have a look, I do have six badges. I only have two more to go. And that would be Blaine and Giovanni. So we're looking good anyway. So here's the, here's the developer. We're going to fight him again and get some decent experience from him at least. Oh great, I'm the developer, so you're the player. I've seen lots of players, but you're unique, and I like that. Let's battle against me. Let's do this, thank you. I, I probably won't unless your uh, levels of your Pokemon have increased since last time. So let's do this, guys. Okay, level 20. That is actually pretty damn high, level 29. Uh, so let's do this then. Uh, we're going to take out this guy with Charizard. When he sends out his second Pokemon, I'm going to swap out and just try and get some experience to the other members. Just so it's not only my Charizard asshole who, who gets the experience right now. Because I think that would be a bit silly. Uh, let's uh, let's try out Pidgeotto. Maybe uh, he or she will get some leveling off this. Alright, that guy is very high level. What we could do is use a lot of sand attacks. That might be a good idea. Because if you can't land a hit despite the level difference. Then we can still win this through well, planning. We'll be winning this through planning the battle out rather than just going full throttle, let's do damage. Which is what I normally do. When I play Pokemon games, guys, I'll uh, look at my moveset and I'll go for the ones that have the highest damage. And uh, I'll take out moves that are like raise special attack, raise this. You know, I, I tend to just ignore those. And I know that's a bit silly because certain moves are very strong, in, uh, especially in competitive Pokemon battling. Like, um, I know like Light Screen and uh, Leech Seed and stuff like that are actually really strong moves. Uh, oh god, this could be bad. Okay, that's fine. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna swap out to somebody a lot low leveler, le le a lot low level than him. <laughs> leveler. Uh, let's uh, let's give Machop a try, shall we? I think when Machop hits Machoke, he's gonna be a really strong member on the team. And you know, what? It, it it would seem very plausible that this guy is a normal type since he's an asshole. Yeah, we got we got we got destroyed right there. So I guess Machop's not gonna be growing any levels right now. 
Okay, what I'm going to have to do then is at least Poliwag has a chance. Uh, we're going to swap Poliwag into Charizard, and we'll get half the experience onto Poliwag, which is better than, better than nothing. And there's no way my Charizard is going to get taken down by a Tackle or something. So yeah, we're looking good. It's most likely he'll miss too. There we go. You know, it's possible to decapitate is incredibly low on um, accuracy, um, even without the sound attacks, because that sounds like a move that is like a one-hit kill. You know, decapitating someone's gonna kill you. I love how he's a swag cat on the side. That's awesome. All right, and Pedo Cub. That's Peter Bear. So let's get uh, let's get Poliwag some more experience. We're gonna need it, at least one of these Pokemon, either the po Poliwag, the Bowsprout, or the Machoke. Oh, he's tiny now. He's tiny. Look at him. To um, gain some levels to at least fight against Brock or somebody else. Uh, yeah, we're going to swap into Bowsprout. I can't risk Charizard getting hit first. So it's a good idea to swap out to Bowsprout and use him as a meat shield. Oh, God. How would you put your penis in a Bowsprout? I guess you'd put it in the in the mouth, right? In the, in the, in the bowel. <laughs> it seems to be perfect shape. So that would work pretty well. Um, okay, so yeah, Poliwag's gonna get half the experience here, which is a great thing. Oh, great! So let's use Flame Burst. That's gonna do a lot of damage. I lied. That did no damage. Trapped in a vortex of sex. A vort sex. No, that's, that's, that was a really bad pun. I'm sorry, guys. Alright. I healed too, Mr. Pedo Cup. You can out heal me. Oh, no! Oh, God. I wouldn't even make a joke about rape, honestly. But, uh, yeah. He's gonna get burnt alive. And you know, that's what I'd do if somebody raped me, burn them alive. I think that's a good, uh... A good way to get revenge, to be honest with you guys. So let's use Slash and get this over with. He's still using full restores. He's a rich, rich man. Once we defeat this guy, we are going to heal, and then we're going to probably lose to Brock. We'll fight him again, but it's, it's not gonna go well. I think his Pokemon are going to be very high level compared to last time. Uh, but we will see when we do fight him. I just hope he has some steel Pokemon for my Charizard. Come on, Poliwag. There we go, level 13. See, that's, that's better than nothing, right? Uh, no, this can't be happening. Am I dreaming again? What have you got to say to me, Mr. Developer? Don't you hate how small this region is at the moment? Don't worry, I'm planning on updating the game. Uh, each of the updates will add a few routes and towns or even two. Thank you. I saw some pretty familiar in Anastar City. He's in a cavern. I think you should... You know, I want to do that. Anastar City in the cavern. I really want to do that. Uh, will she heal my team? Oh, oh, a golden dildo. Thanks, mom. <laughs> That's really embarrassing. My mom found a golden dildo in my room. I don't, I don't even know what to think of that. <laughs> that does sound really, really wrong. Oh, God. All right, let's, uh, let's fly out. I hope my uh, Pidgeotto, who's pretty much dead, can still fly. Oh wow, Pidgeotto's fainted, but can still fly, no problem. All right, Anastar City's over here. Somebody familiar in the cavern. Um, I think I tried to look for him before when I faced the developer, and I think I had bad luck trying to find him. Uh, I think we're, you know what, we're just gonna face Brock, I think, and see how that goes. I, 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 I doubt we're gonna win with a, a Charizard as my high level Pokemon against a Rock Gym. But uh, if I'm going to get get my butt kicked, I may as well get it kicked in an epic fashion. So, uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's fly back to this place, Fuxia City. And uh, this beats Brock, who's uh, in leather pants and uh, wearing very minimal clothing, which is... I don't really know what to think about, though, and I don't particularly want to think about that. Wait a second. This is Misty. Misty's in Fuxia City? Oh, okay. All right, well, uh... I suppose we'll uh, find where Brock is in a different place then. He's over here somewhere. Was he in Anastar City? Definitely not in Molestic Town. Or Verdanted. Yeah, it's, it's probably... He's probably in Anastar. I guess we'll fly back over there. Yeah, I, th I think he is, you know. Yeah, here he is. He's in this little cavern over here. Beautiful. Okay, welcome back, guys. Uh, I've gone for a different moveset here to fight against Brock with. What I've gone and done is I've taught Dragon Tail over Wing Attack and got rid of Slash for Double Team. I know getting rid of Slash for Double Team might not be the greatest idea, but currently Brock is my only real big challenge, and we do have Cut, which is very similar to Slash, just slightly less basic uh, base damage, and obviously it doesn't entail with the critical hit chance. But we're going to fight him again, and maybe, just maybe, we're going to do pretty well against him. 
And we'll see how this goes. So since we have five gold on dildos, we're going to fight him for a second time. Hmm. Okay. So he's going to start off with Graveler. Level 35. That's going to be a pretty tough thing. Now we're going to just test out Dragon Tail and see how much this does against the Graveler. Rollout's quite a worrying move because on a second hit I'm dead. And the fact that he hit first, I'm really worried about. Oh wait, Dragon is not... Oh, okay. Hey, hey! Take that, Graveler! Hey, <laughs> I sent out Umastar. Yeah, baby, you take that. I could just keep using Dragon Tail. That's such a troll move. I get it now. I get why Dragon Tail hit second. Because when I use it, it sends out a different... Po oh, shit, I sent out Graveler again. Well, that feels kind of bad now. And the Graveler's the problem because he has rollout. Ugh, I want to send out someone else. Let's use Dragon Tail. <laughs> I don't want Graveler to be fighting me. The good news is Dragon Tail is the rollout doesn't uh, gain the damage. Oh, Rhyhorn. Okay, I'm feeling pretty uh, pretty good here. So I've actually weakened quite a bit of this team right now. What I'm going to need to do is swap out to someone else. Uh, somebody has a punching bag. So we're going to send out, send out Pidgeotto. It's possible Pidgeotto might survive an attack. I doubt it. It really depends if he uses like a takedown or a... Yeah, scary face. There we go. That's good. I can use a super potion on my Charizard now. So this fight is going actually pretty decent, despite the obviously my team being a lot weaker than his uh, overall. Actually, I'm gonna use the uh, the hyper potion because one super potion isn't really gonna do enough for me in this fight. Um, what I could do is against this Rhyhorn, and I doubt he's going to swap out to a different Pokemon, is use a lot of double teams on my Charizard to increase his evasiveness to an incredible amount. Then it's going to be incredibly unlikely that I'll lose this. Um, what I can do is I'll use some sand attacks, just enough so my Pidgeotto will faint. But before she does, let's lower the Rhyhorn's accuracy a decent amount. So then when I swap out to Charizard and start using double teams, there's no way in hell this Rhyhorn's going to be hitting a Horn Drill on me. And if he does, I'm going to freak out and cry. But I, I doubt that's going to happen. Yeah, Horn Drill has incredibly low accuracy. And with these uh, sand attacks, that just lowers it even more. Take this, you leather-wearing Brockman. You think you can defeat me? I doubt it, sir. You gotta go through me and my Charizard. And I don't think that's gonna be happening anytime soon. So yeah, this is looking good. I kinda want this Rhyhorn to hit a horn drill. <laughs> and at the same time, I kinda want this Rhyhorn to use all the PP in the horn drill. And I want that a lot more than him hitting a horn drill. Okay, I don't think any more sand attacks are going to go through now. Yeah, we've already decreased his accuracy enough. So now we're going to swap back out into Charizard, and at least the Pidgeotto is going to get half the experience from this Rhyhorn. So we're going back about a tactical way here, instead of just going ug ug hit hit. We're going for the tactical way of... Please don't hit, please don't hit. <laughs> oh, Charizard's unaffected. Oh, thank God for that. And it missed anyway. Uh, so now we're going to go for double team. This is the safest thing I can do right now, as long as I don't swap out my Charizard. I think his most scariest Pokemon would be the Graveler right now, because the Graveler has Rollout, and that's an incredibly strong move to be used against me. And I'm actually a little bit sad that that scary face hit, because if my Charizard goes second in battle, that's actually a big disadvantage for me. But uh, since he has Rock Pokemon, I would imagine they're quite slow anyway, so I still think my Charizard would be faster than some of the Pokemon, but we'll see. So we're going to use as many double teams as possible to raise evasiveness, and then we're just going to use, um, well, we're just going to make this Rhyhorn faint with a uh, Flame Burst, and uh, probably use Dragon Tails when needed. The only thing I'm worried about is my PP. I hope I have enough PP in the Flame Burst and even the Dragon Tail to, um, to win this fight, because I don't want to swap out Charizard, and at the same time, I don't want to be using Cut on Rock Pokemon, because that's going to do, like, no damage. So now let's use Flame Burst. And this is where the fight really becomes heated. That was a ter that was a terrible pun. I'm sorry guys. That was a that was really bad. It's gonna be quite a long video, by the way, because this is gonna be a really intense battle against Brock. And uh, there'll be a tiny bit of editing and a tiny bit of cutting throughout this part. But right now I think the uh, the highlight of this video is me defeating Oh my god, really? He's gonna use hyper potions. That that blows. He's going to have at least two of those, maybe even three. This sucks. Oh, I'm going to run out of PP. I'm going to check if I've got any elixirs, actually. Ugh. Um, do I have any elixirs? No. Full heal. 
Yeah, this this already sucks. You know, I'm probably best saving the PP here. Yeah, I'm gonna use cut. Alright guys, this might take a while. We're gonna be using a lot of cuts now because to be honest, this Rhyhorn is not gonna hit me with anything because I've used like five sand attacks and five double teams. So we're gonna waste all the PP in cut uh, and save the PP in my other moves for against his other Pokemon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back and cut the video for when we've made this Rhyhorn faint because it's very likely he's gonna use another Hyper Potion so we could be here quite a while. So I'll be right, right back guys. Alright guys, welcome back. We're gonna now use the Flame Burst to make the thing finally faint. Uh, I was using a lot of my cuts on this thing because he, in he indeed used another Hyper Potion which was really frustrating. But uh, yeah, let's go and face this Graveler again. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Dragon Tail again because this thing scares me. Actually, Flame Burst is gonna make this thing faint. We'll use a we'll use Flame Burst. Screw it. A rock Slide would have done a ton of damage. It's actually very very risky right now because fighting against Pokemon that you can use move like Rock Slide and stuff like that uh, and roll out. If they hit a crit, my Charizard will insta faint, and then uh, I'm kind of screwed because I'll have to use all the double teams again, and I won't be able to face against something weak like a Rhyhorn. Uh, this thing scares me, so I'm gonna use Dragon Tail. Oh god, that's really really bad, guys. Why did that have to hit? Oh, oh thank god. Oh god, that was, that was really, really bad. That was a crit! Oh my god, I guess Dragon isn't good against Rock. Alright, I'm gonna use another uh, Hyper Potion on this guy real quick. And uh, then we're gonna go back to using uh, either Flame Burst or Cuts or something. So let's just let's just do this. Um, might have been a good idea to use the Iron just for a little bit of extra defense before the fight. I doubt that would have done much. But I'm a little bit sad right now because... These, those double teams I would have expected to do a lot more. I've been hit a couple times here and that's uh, making me worry a little bit. Um, let's go with, let's go with Flame Burst on this guy. Oh god, that's bad. That's really bad. What? Oh my god. That is so much damage. This guy's, oh, this guy's even worse than the, the goddamn Graveler. Uh, I have to swap out. I have to swap out to uh, someone else. We're going to swap out to uh, Poliwag. And uh, we're going to have to use the whole uh, meat shield tactic of... Oh, wait, I'm so dumb. I'm so, so dumb. I just remembered, guys, I used those double teams. Oh, no. Now the double teams won't be in effect. Oh, <laughs> what was I thinking swapping out? And then we're going to go back to using uh, Flame Burst. Okay, yeah, that one worked. I won't be able to use any more than that. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's continue fighting this dude. I definitely do not want to use Dragon Tail right now because if he's going to use moves like Bites and stuff, then yeah, we're looking good. Let's use Cut. Yeah, we're going to waste these Cuts again. Uh, if he goes back to using Surf, I'm going to swap out to a stronger move like, you know, like uh, Flame Burst and I suppose Dragon Tail at some point. Okay, note to self, do not swap out Charizard again. So yeah, you guys wanted me to upload more Pokemon and Censored Edition, and okay, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to start using the uh, Flame Burst again. And uh, I abided, and here you guys go. The reason I haven't been uploading content on this is, firstly, there isn't really anything else for me to do right now because the game creator hasn't unlocked any other features. Uh, secondly, it's because my uh, team is uh, just a one-shot cannon of Charizard, and there is no speed up feature. If there was a, an ability of me to speed this up, which there isn't, I would definitely produce more content on this. Um, you know, it's possible this Dragon Tail might make this faint and I'll save the PP on the Flame Burst, so let's try that. But yeah, since I can't speed up and that means I can't grind, uh, it's kind of put me off playing this until new uh, areas are unlocked. So right now, uh, this might be the only video for a while on this game until the developer uh, releases new... Ooh, there we go. Releases new areas and obviously the uh, last two gym leaders. Okay, here's Boner Rock again. This guy's... Incredibly strong. Um, let's use the Flame Burst because that's a Steelix. So yeah. Don't know why I used Dragon Tail before. This should do a lot of damage. Thank God it's a Steelix, eh? Thank God. Oh my God, I'm so lucky. I was, he didn't have Sturdy. That is like a super, super awesome thing to not have right now. Oh my God, I'm, I might beat Brock. Is this seriously happening? I beat him. I beat Brock again. And Brock isn't like in leather and half naked. He's actually in normal clothing. Why did he end up in normal clothing? Wow, how are you so tough? What's your secret? Take these. Brock's turned normal, guys. 
Stay strong. Congratulations. I reached more points. There's loads of money. Oh, and a reward. Wait, I got Ultra Balls? I could have got max potions. God damn it. I'll take the Ultra Balls, whatever. Sweet, guys. Man, that was a tough one. I'm, I'm really surprised we won that. I guess all I have to beat now is May, and then we're pretty much done for this game until the new uh, updates come out. Sweetness. You know what? I was, I was surprised there. I was expecting to lose that. Seriously, I was. Alright guys, we're going to wrap this one up. I've been recording for over half an hour here, so we're going to edit this down a little bit. I'm very surprised we beat Brock, but uh, yeah, high five, eh? Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all again very soon. Goodbye, everyone.